I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times, and this week I'm reviewing The Florida Project, a new film from Sean Baker, the writer and director of the 2015 indie favorite Tangerine. And this is where we get free ice cream. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Follow me. Could we have some Chang. money? Do we have enough? I'm coming. Excuse me. Wait. Excuse me, miss. Could you give us some change, please? We need yes. to buy ice cream. Because we don't have any money. We just have five cents. Yeah, we just have five cents. And the doctor said we have asthma and we got to eat ice cream yeah. right away. Like, yeah, my doctor true ice too. cream. Guys. We're not lying. It's fine. Thank you very much. There you go. Let's go. Come on. The Florida Project refers to the Magic Castle, a dumpy three-story motel complex on the outskirts of Orlando, Florida, whose purple exteriors and discount fairy tale trappings are modeled on Disney World. It's a place where drifters and stragglers get by on 38 bucks a night, where missionaries pass out baked goods and brawls erupt in the parking lot. It's also home to a wildly spirited six-year-old girl named Mooney, played in a startling star-making performance by Brooklyn Kimberly Prince, and her monstrously unfit mother, Hallie, played by another gifted newcomer, Bria Vigneti. Hallie barely makes ends meet and lets Mooney runs wild, and she gets a lot of help from the motel's hard-working, endlessly put-upon manager, Bobby, a role that occasions one of the very best performances of Willem Dafoe's career. Hey, Lee, we got a situation here. Open up. It's only second week of the summer, and there's already been a dead fish in the pool. We're trying to get it back alive. Water blooms thrown at tourists. Boobies! Boobies! I failed as a mother, Moni. Yeah, Mom, you're a disgrace. Shot on 35mm film in luscious day glow colors, the Florida Project is one of the most thrillingly alive portraits of childhood I've ever seen. It's an astonishing blend of realism and fantasy, conjuring and sustaining a powerful sense of childlike wonderment, even as it becomes a fierce and unsentimental portrait of childhood's end. By the finale, this sharply observed slice of life epic has become nothing less than a masterpiece of empathy and imagination. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.